So Leela versus RP. Um, and we've got Ahmed with um, a no ice start. I don't think that's acceptable against Leela, is it? No, no way. Yeah, you gotta ship this one. Like you can just get punished so quickly. Lila's got security testing, sure gamble, RDI. Seems fine. Special order. Yeah. Yeah, Ahmed's stuck with a less than optimal hand as Cortex Cortex lock as his only ice. Um but only one agenda in hand as it's it's the future perfect. Uh still you've definitely got an ice HQ against Lila, at least to put on the illusion that you could stop siphon, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So what's what's your play here? Hedge fund or Hedge draw? Fund. I think you draw a card actually there. Huh. I think drawing a card is slightly better than getting the DBS out because if you see a second ice, you're gonna play it. That might be true actually. Drawing does signal weakness a little bit more, but that's true. Alright, so yeah. prob probably gonna see sure gamble, yeah, sure gamble RDI, run R and D. Yeah, I mean, because if you hit an agenda here, it's so big. Well, you don't have the siphon, so it's not the end of the world. Also, it's RP, so you can hit an agenda and not steal it. <laughs> it's true. This is very true. Uh still, this is how you have to beat RP as Leela, I think. Yeah. He just has to trash the Sundu. You're probably trash. gonna get his sec test on, right? Yeah, I think so. I think playing the security testing is better than running again. Yeah, you need money. He's well. Disagrees. Diego disagrees. He's going back for more. <laughs> like, I mean, it's fine. You are accessing a new card, but you can't steal an NAPD. No. I think that's the litmus test. All you can do is go rogue trashing Jackson Howard. Ew. No, I don't like that at all. And that puts that put that, I think that just puts Ahmed so far ahead. I would be. Really surprised if he finds a way to lose this one. Yeah. I mean, and he's got ice. He can go. He can go uh, well, he's probably going to bottom the Cortex lock, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. Well, maybe. Um, who are you running? He meant what runner is Ahmed playing? I think he's playing Kate, right? Oh. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, by trashing that Jackson, too, like, he's just saying, yeah, okay, do whatever you want, I'm not going to be able to touch your daily business show, probably, like, all game. Right. Yeah, that daily business show is going to stick around for, probably forever. Um, just probably going to send, send this future perfect to the bottom, meanwhile, uh, wrap around Sundu for... Mm -hmm. I mean, you just do—you just got to do that, right? Yeah. He's icing wraparound on archives. This surely to stop the security testing. It's kind of oh. interesting. Makes sense. Hmm. All right, Jaeger goes, and what's he gonna do? Security testing on the business show, of course. Um, and. What else? Draws into a count siphon. If you've got two corroders, I would run a count siphon right now. And he runs into pup. Yep, well, that's gonna deal damage. <laughs> it's gonna deal damage, but I mean, still, I didn't with your interface. It's, there might be there might be only one mimic in this deck. Think about that. Oh yeah, actually, that could be a really big deal. It's just dirty laundry, so... Just dirty laundry, that's good, because, uh... <clears throat> actually, that was probably the best thing that he... If you see Anissa here, you can bounce the HQ ice. Mm -hmm. Um, but he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and he draws into a fairy and runs security testing. Sure. So, uh, despite the awkward start, Lulu's not out of this game. No. Um, we know that Siphon is still alive. He could go Fairy Siphon and maybe turn this around. Yeah, just say, like, screw it, this is probably a sentry. 
Yeah. <laughs> the, I like the double daily business. <laughs> the double show? Yeah. Uh, he finds a celebrity gift. Just so many cards in hand. Yeah. I think he's got to keep the gift, right? Oh, I would. But then what do you do? Gift Susano? I mean, can you really play gift now? Do you like Susano? I don't know. I think I'm just playing Sundu and clicking for two credits here. I don't I don't like Susano very much. But in the uh, all mimic metagame, it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> and Ahmed agrees with the playing Sundu and clicking for two credits. Sure. Yeah, Lee was poor enough that this play is fine. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty reasonable. On the other hand, you are signaling HQ agendas like crazy right now. Yeah. Because what do you have in your hand that you're not protecting that Sunday besides agendas? It's got to be like three Caprices, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean... And Jaeger keeps going to R&D, huh. going, going down to zero credits. There's only one Nisei in that deck, so he's going to have to get pretty lucky if he wants to uh, get there. I don't and I'm not, did it go on the bottom? Like, we've seen a lot of daily business showing. It might not even be there. Yeah, I'm really not sure how I feel about this. Like, just totally draining himself out. Yeah, but like, on the other hand, what do you do? Like, just click for four credits for a turn and then go back to it the next turn? You might not have the opportunity. Kills the sun, do Sure. Yeah. You, cannot, you cannot argue with killing naked sun, do I, th I think that was good. And... Ahmed just uh, finds a hedge fund. Basically what he's doing now is he's just waiting for Jackson Howard, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright. Draws another Croder. Okay, it's not bad. Gets a dollar. Plays the fairy. All right. Now this 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 can't be right, can it? <laughs> he just loves hitting that that R and D. You gotta get in there with four credits, don't you? Like if if you do it, you you land the siphon for the full amount, which will be huge. But I that mean, it's just been a constant tax. Okay, so there's the Nisei. It was the third card down, so he's actually pretty close to doing it there. Um, but now it's on the bottom, so there's absolutely no way that he's getting his R&D uh, for just that one credit. Uh, Abe can also use this Lotus Field now to protect either HQ or R&D further. I think he just wants the Ice HQ, right? Yeah. yeah. So just don't get siphoned and lose. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna take four. Realizing the uh, importance of uh, an APD contract. So here's a hedge fund, mental health clinic, and APD. I think you keep the mental health clinic here. It's almost certain to gain you more credits in the hedge fund. Yeah. When your opponent's this poor, it's definitely better. Yeah. Ahmed agrees. Okay. Keeps the MHC. He's probably gonna install that here. Uh, he might also draw a card. Yeah, he does. So he's gonna put out his Enigma on a on his R and D, not a remote server, and then uh, that's all clinic. Okay, he wants to shut down the R and D digs. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, just lock him out, wait it out. You're eventually gonna see a Jackson, and then you can do pretty much whatever you want. That's been a very slow, methodical game, but like he's slowly building advantage. So. Yeah, this is how you RP. All right, draw, draw. Oh, dead draws, man. This is what happens when you play these aggro decks, man. You just, like, you have to click the draw when you don't have anything else to do, and then half your deck is, like, nothing. Yeah. I <laughs> take security testings and not what you wanted to see. This is why I don't play aggro decks. <laughs> <coughs> There's two mental health clinics and a pup. It's actually pretty close between Mental Health Clinic and Pop here. Um, I think you just 
take the clinic, but I could go either way. Um, I think I like clinic. You yeah. don't have like a high value pup target right now, so. No, you don't. You've you've got Lila pretty well shut out, um, for the moment. You find some Eli. Do you just stick that on HQ too? Hmm. What's on HQ right now? Um, Cortex Hawk and Lotus Field. Lotus Field. Um. No, he he it's, he doesn't put Eli on. He puts Susano on remote. Whoa. Cool. That's, That's not the thing. That's not the not the play I expected. So very cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a big, big, big piece of ice. Fairy is maybe the only breaker that can actually touch it out of the Lila deck. Often they're only playing like Fairy, maybe one Femme and Mimic. Yeah. So obviously the Femme would be pretty good here, but not much else. Uh, Jaeger slowly clicking up for credits. Yeah. Might want to think about installing your corridor here so he doesn't have to discard. Um, yeah, he's going to do that. Probably just takes more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just not playing the game that he wants to play there. No. Uh, see Mental Health Clinic. Still no Jackson Howard for Ahmed. He's going to keep Tollbooth. Can't argue with that. Definitely one of the best ice you can find. <clears throat> um, so I think you probably want to put Eli on the remote here. Uh, and then, like, Tollbooth on R&D or something. He draws a card and sees another celebrity gift. I think you've got Ice HQ here. It's just too dangerous, right? Like, like, or... I don't know, maybe not. Jaeger's only on six credits, so he'd have to play, like, Passport, Break for three. But, I mean, it's possible. I guess you don't need the Ice HQ. We'll see where this toll booth goes. Toll booth on the remote. Don't love this. Um, he, all the all the big guys on one server. I'm not a fan of. Yeah, that's. I agree. You do want to get a code gate on the remote against Lila because of the ubiquity of passport. Um, but this is fine too. Uh, getting the cheaper piece of ice on HQ to make sure that you can always res there. Sure. And he keeps digging. He's got a special order for Zul. Uh, get that into play and then take your credit. And Ahmed finally finds the Jackson. Uh, no doubt in my mind what he's going to do here. Oh, yeah. No. Jeez. Just shove your Jackson in your remote server, overdraw a little bit. Uh, he's, he's gone through like his whole deck. Yeah, well, there's the first Jackson. <laughs> <coughs> He's actually thinking about this. He's, I guess he's thinking, like, he's so close to scoring that he could just take Caprice, Celebrity Gift his hand, shove it in the remote, and not have to worry too much. Um... Jaeger's only got five credits, but yeah, he keeps the Jackson Howard. This is the right call. So Jackson, Jackson in the ice remote, draw two cards, draw one more card, pitch three agendas, and I don't see how you lose. Lilo's got no long-term economy to speak of. Um, so you just draw one more card here. You can pitch everything. Um, with two daily business shows out, there's no reason to even keep one agenda in your hand. Yeah, no, I agree. And with Archives and Jackson both iced, uh, he's not going to be able to easily get them thrown back in R&D. Okay, this is also fine. He just takes a credit. He's going to push two agenda to keep the Nisei. Mm -hmm. I don't hate this either. Um, I don't think you can go wrong either way. Well, he's just in such a strong position uh, with Leela just at five credits and with, like, no way of earning money. Still, oh. Like, no oh, there we go. Katie. Spooky. It's Katie Jones. Game on. Maybe. Uh, time to start, like, actually applying some pressure, maybe. Yeah. Um, there's a Sundew and an Enigma and a pad campaign. Uh, I guess you just keep the Sundew. Yeah. Uh, maybe Celebrity Gift your whole hand and play the Sundew, right? Seems fine to me. 
Um, Another toll booth, huh? Okay. You can just play the Sun You're Naked and it's fine. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah. So what do you do here with your last click, Anthony? Sundu? Uh, I, th I think it's Sundu. Like, so what are the other options outside of Sundu? Tollbooth R&D, Eli R&D. Um, I think... Also draw one card. Well, okay, actually, I think I think there's an argument to be made for Tollbooth R&D. Yep, that's what he's going for. Yeah, like, because actually he's pretty rich. He's got the interface out. Um... His R and D defenses weren't that great, so I, I think this is actually maybe a little better. Maybe. <laughs> so draw a card, money on Katie. Yep. He's got inside emergency shutdown, Imic ready. Um, this looks like end game for Leela. I don't think it's going to get much better. Uh, the only other thing he wants is Desperado, but I'm not even sure that can pay himself pay itself back this game. I mean, I guess it will eventually if you have the plans on the winter. Yeah, but like it, it won't pay off really quickly. Yeah, uh, he might have sneak door. That could be okay. Although with both daily business shows going, I'm not sure how much sneak door matters. Oh, Ahmed draws one card and finds the Caprice he needs. That's gonna go in the remote almost immediately, I think. Yeah. Uh, just Caprice remote. Uh, out there. Mm. Nope. He's gonna he's gonna put an Eli on the remote. Mm. Oh, he, okay. could caprice, he could Caprice there, too, actually. Yeah, and, and he should. No, nope, he's Sundering. This is fine, too. I mean, the Sundering will gain you money now. Um, this is a little worse against Legwork, so you can get Legwork here and lose your Caprice and your Nisei, potentially. Uh, but yeah. it's going to be super expensive. Unless so. next turn he's just going to snap out the Caprice and the Nisei at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that, that would definitely be the, the I mean, and but I it's... Question that that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he definitely should. Do we remember what's this archive base? It's wraparound, right? <sighs> yeah, it was wraparound. Okay. Yeah. All get rejected. Okay. Um, yeah, Lila goes ahead and jacks out here. Doesn't want to trigger the Jackson. Obviously, the Jackson's in the scoring server, so there's not a big reason to go and check it right now. It's probably going to get cleared out without you having to work. Mm -hmm. um, I think... Yeah, this is this is fine. Money on Katie. Yeah, uh, call so. it a day. Yeah. yeah. So um, T time to make a play for the score, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. You've got enough drip economy going that even if he comes in and you know breaks Eli and breaks Tollbooth, um, like who cares? Even if he steals the Nisei, who cares? He's going to go broke doing it. And with the daily business shows, he's going to be able to keep making this uh, Caprice plus uh, whatever server. And there's an interns. Uh, definitely want to keep that interns here. It's going to give him the ability to, you know, recur a Caprice in case anything happens to it. Um, just a little extra insurance. Cortex lock isn't terrible, but it's only dealing one damage now. So I think it's a snap interns here. Yeah, it's it's gonna do even less than one because he's gonna throw out his mimic. Yep, and here comes Caprice mm -hmm. and Nisa advance. We've seen it before, and we'll see it again. RP making a huge splash in this tournament. Um, I mean, not like it needed any introduction or anything like that, but with NEH, um, you know, severely nerfed by Clot, RP sitting on top of the pack. Yeah, I think by far. Yeah, maybe. Um, blue Sun and HP are good decks. There's lots of good Blue Sun and HP decks, but... Uh, uh, so, so clearly had to take the money off of KD, runs the wraparound for RP's ability. Yep. Then so what, inside jobs into the remote? Yeah, I think so. And then he's going to hit uh, Eli and into Tollbooth, have to break Tollbooth. Yeah, and then... Yeah, and breaking toll booth costs a lot. It costs eight. Um, it's, it's a big deal. 
Yeah, that's you. Yeah. So you res Eli, you res Tollbooth. Um, you could also res Susano. It costs slightly less to break, but it will use the fairy up. Um, but no, he decides to res the Tollbooth. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, the appropriate reaction. Ugh. What's interesting is he uh, he did not actually play a mimic. No, he didn't. You're right. <laughs> Just gonna lean on the fairy here. All right, so if you break this toll booth, it costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's only got five credits left. Ahmed's got ten. Susano is seven strength. If you res Susano here, you actually keep him out, don't you? I think so. Because it's seven strength. He can only pump fairy five times. Oh, no, 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 that's enough. He has just enough. But since it kills the fairy, he can't, if he comes out, he like. But he'll, yeah, you can't you can't res this as Ozana. You're one one credit off here. Um, yeah, because you, you can't or he's two credits off rather because you can't res him. Even the math just doesn't work out. Right. Um, so Jaeger's gonna get a chance here. Justin playing the side game. This is um, pretty important right here. Oh yeah, I don't think he can win unless he wins this side game. If he does win the side game, he's still pretty far behind. Uh, but he's not dead in the water. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm Ahmed, I'm just randomizing here. Yeah, I think so. I guess I'm randomizing between one and two. I don't want to bet zero. Oh! Wow. Got two? It. Two? Yeah. He's got the Nisei. Oh, man. He can make a bounce. He's going to trash the Caprice. That's a big deal. Yeah. Wheel is in it. <sighs> Down to two credits, though, after trashing this Caprice, and it's going to get put back with interns. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he goes ahead and bounces uh, what I think was a Lotus Field on R&D, if I'm not mistaken. In front of the Lotus Field is a toll booth, so now it's toll booth pop on RMD. I can go check on Ahmed's hand. Oh no, it was an Enigma. <laughs> okay, we're still playing. We're still playing Netrunner. Indeed. Inside job, big deal. Yep. We'll see. We'll see what Ahmed gets. Uh, NAPD. Enigma Eli. You probably just want to keep Eli here, right? Yeah. Keep Eli, draw a card, play gift, pass the turn, maybe. Yeah, I think he definitely gift. No, what did he do? No, he's he's drawing a card and gifting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Showing off that no agenda HQ. Making R&D look pretty enticing. Yeah. That told booth face plan's gonna be painful. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he just runs with two credits again. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Hmm. There's Symmetrical Visage. Probably a little late for that one. Uh, you could still play it. It wouldn't be the worst. And he does decide to play it. I mean, he is drawing a lot, but... I mean, he has basically his rig. Does that actually work? I'm not sure about the ruling on that. If he's already drawn a card and drawn Symmetrical Visage, does he get a credit? This is the first time he's been clicked to draw a card. I don't think it works. I don't think it does. But let me check. I mean, as a literal reading of the card, I don't think it does. But, okay. We'll play on this way, no big deal. Uh, 
I sure. Just, I, I've had redeploys Enigma on R&D there. <laughs> I, I think no. So, I this one cred makes a sense. More sense to me. All right, so Ahmed put something in there on my server. I'm not quite sure what it was, but he has a, another Caprice in his hand. two more credits here I guess you're not gonna do anything with just one credit um, you can't play any of the cards in your hand your hands pretty good I think you just take two yeah take two you can you can't be doing like effective running with two credits so. yeah just ditch an RDI here I don't think three of them are gonna be oh he ditches the leg work. Uh, that's also pretty good I mean it's pretty unlikely that with these two DBS that HQ is ever gonna have anything of consequence um, there's a Nisei and a Future Perfect, along with a Hedge Fund. Depending, on, what's, Nisei. depending uh, on what's in the remote, um, I think you keep the Nisei here. If, yeah. that, if there's like a Caprice over there, if that's all that is. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's You gotta do it again. Yeah. It's because uh, Jaeger's only gonna have nine like i think i would maybe put the other eli on the remote as well he doesn't have an inside job this time yeah he's just gonna let it go yep all right and uh that's gonna make it pretty tough drawn his future perfect celebrity gift pad i guess you keep gift just because it's not the other two mm -hmm. not that you really need the money but no, this this passive income has been disgusting. Yeah, these mental health clinics have gained like what, one hundred million credits. It's <laughs> about a billion dollars each plus. Like, yeah, about a billion dollars. Cycled through his whole deck at the same time. So. Now, players, if you want to make a billion dollars, open a mental health clinic. Ahmed's uh, taking his time to think about this. Maybe thinking he wants to keep the future perfect to try and. Uh, Either keep it out of R and D or just keep it ready to score. I'm not really... uh, I think I would just bottom. I think I would just bottom That's it. What say. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, score the Nisei. No big deal. Because like Jaeger's going to be able to start applying a little bit of pressure in the next turn or two. Right. See, this way you get the Nisei counter, and then next turn you can make the play of like celebrity gift your hand. Caprice R and D, and with two DBS and a Caprice on R and D and the remote server, I don't understand what you can do. Yeah. So you can try to do some stuff here on HQ, but it's gonna be yeah. real tough. Yeah. He did bounce the best possible ice though. Yeah. So he can go siphon siphon or something here, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, this uh, this could put him back in. This gives you the shot, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe this is a mistake by Ahmed. Maybe he should have taken another turn to, uh, you know, advance that Nisei one turn slower, be able to replace the ice. And here's the siphon. Siphon, saw it coming. Yeah, I mean. So let's take a look at the ice. It's just going to be Eli, Eli and Cortex lock, right? Mm -hmm. And the Cortex lock is like so insignificant. Yeah, it just deals one damage. I think you still res it. Yeah, you do. Um, it's going to deal all damage. It's something. Could lose the mimic. If you lose the mimic. Stop siphon. Yeah, you could, you could, you could nug a siphon, nug a mimic. Either of those is pretty good.
Yeah. The mimic would be a big deal, actually. Maybe. Hmm. And he takes the other siphon. All right, so then do you Nisei this siphon? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, right? Especially since you just hit one out. Oh, no, he lets him in. Okay. You can do this, too. It means fine. It's totally reasonable. Hitting the other siphon was great. Like, Oh, yeah. Pretty pretty big. Uh, but he can still same old siphon here, and I think you do it. Yeah. So, Luba mounting a little bit of a siphon comeback. Um, not sure if it was some kind of big mistake to, to score that Nisei as fast as he did. Uh, it is like an easy autopilot thing to do as RP is just, you know, score your Nisei, you're not going to lose anymore. Um, but he picked the right, he picked the exact right ice to bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked out really well. Got an interface that time, not the mimic, but still good. Um, and he just takes, he just eats the siphon here. I mean, I guess he's just thinking he has a lot of passive income, but now Jaeger's got a shit ton of money. Yeah, he could also trash this stuff. The thing is, is... With two daily business show out, he can just wait forever. Like just celebrity gift, play another mental health clinic, pass the turn. And if he wants, if uh, he could kill Katie, you don't need to kill Katie here because Lila's got four tags. What is he gonna do? Remove four tags and start using Katie again? No, I, I mean not right now, but like. Right. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say is that like, despite the fact that Lila has all this money, she doesn't necessarily have a way of getting it getting it back if she spends it. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking to trash Katie immediately. This is fine too. Um, I think I would wait for him to remove the four tags. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessary to trash the Katie there. All right. So, what are we gonna res here? Tollbooth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you want to res just Eli here. You can res the gold booth. You can't res both. Gold booth's better. And, uh... Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Yeager pays for it. Probably going to pay through Pup, too. Not wanting to lose the mimic. This is just one card access. Uh, Ahmed's going to give this up. Nothing terribly important to bounce here, so... Uh, even if an agenda gets the oh, the future perfect. Uh, that's a big deal. He gets it. Ahmed's on zero credits. Ah, all right. That was yeah. pretty, pretty fiendish. So, Just snipe the agenda. So the preemptive Nisei might be punishing Ahmed in a big way. I mean, this one one access from over, um, and he doesn't have to win a side to do it. Sure. Jeez. Uh, still, he can put Caprice on R&D here. And uh, a mental health clinic is going to get trashed. This yeah. is a good play. Yeah, this, this makes a lot of sense. Uh, keep in mind, though, there's still the Nisei counter. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, he's going to stop letting him just come back for free. Right. And, like, all the Sundays were trashed. Okay. Seems fine. <laughs> Jaeger down to 11 credits, though. Um, so both players, you know, not particularly rich. And we've got a really good set of ice res for RP. Um, Lilo's back in it, but this game is, like, not even close to over. What is he What is he interning? A mental health thing? Sunday? Except he doesn't have enough. Eh, I don't like that. No, no, no. He he undid the interns there. He's just gonna click for two credits. Probably just cut the enigma. I I could see interns in a sundew. Uh, for, you know, well, you don't want to do it until you have the money. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not now, but like in the next couple turns.
You could draw the same old thing. You could use that to siphon again at any point. Hmm. It's actually looking pretty pretty damn good for Leela. I'd say this is this is a close game. Uh, clearly, you're going to enter in Sundu here. Um, and probably just take a credit, I think. Yeah, I think you need to. <sighs> yeah, and it turns the Sundu into the remote. Sure. I like that. It does go up to four credits. Uh, if a siphon does come out, uh, he can res the Caprice in the remote if he wants. Finally, there's Desperado. And I think, yeah, you're going to want to get that out. Uh, in conjunction with security testing, you can run on the wraparound for, you know, two credits. It's better than better than one credit. It's it's correct to play it. That Cortex lock got a lot better, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. Now deals two damage. Oh, no. But wow, Leela's uh, Leela's making money again. I think you've got to trash that uh, security test right now, right? Yeah, I think so. Trash it, gain two. And uh, Ahmed is down to nine cards in R&D. Honestly, he has a really tough time here. I think Leela is likely to win. It's going to be tight. I'm telling you that. Yeah. I think you got to keep hedge fund here, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you need money badly. He just, man, he just needs more time. Yeah, there, there isn't enough time in the day. He, he only used one Jackson Howard, though, so he can reshuffle a bunch of cards back into R&D to stall. Yeah, oh, that's true. He's going to go ahead and Caprice R&D. Makes good sense. And just takes two. He doesn't feel like trashing this uh this sec test yet. Okay. But Ahmed's clawed back up, he's on nine credits. Yeah. Uh, his next step is to find that last Nisei, get it in the remote, and try and win the game. Yeah, this has been a weird game as RP because um Leela has broken zero centuries. <laughs> Good point. Throughout the course of this game, which is just like, you know, so bizarre. So, I think you gotta kill the siphon. I don't know. You have to. There's no way you can let this one through as Ahmed, right? You gotta kill it. <laughs> it's a century. <laughs> you gotta take two. Yeah, or lose the ferry. Right, or lose the ferry. He does have the mimic left in his hand. Might not want to lose it. Man, you really don't want to spend this Nisei counter, but I think you have to. Yeah. Especially since he killed the fairy. Yep. Do it. Yeah, and the run. Uh, I don't I don't think it's close, like Yeah, not anymore. Come on. Gotta end it. End the run. End the run, Ahmed. <laughs> you can do it, end the run. <sighs> no! Back up it's in No oh, man. Oh my gosh. There's just no way. This is crazy. This is crazy talk. I mean, you know, you can weather the storm, but eventually, like, R&D is just going to be all agendas. Yeah. 
we're like already at that point. <laughs> I mean, uh, spending an Issei on a 15 credit swing is a pretty big deal. So you don't need to save it for the remote. But you can. Uh, he he's already back up to nine credits. I don't like it. I would have kept the future perfect in hand. I think though. Yeah, that might be accurate. Just uh, ten cards left in R and D, uh, and six of them are agendas. So. He's not going to be able to keep agendas out of HQ for much longer. And I think the future perfect is the one that you want in HQ. So he's got 10 cards in his deck. Okay. Yep. Caprice rest. Probably going to pay two for Pup. Yep. And then we'll play a side game. Man, the side game would be a lot better though if he hadn't gotten that siphon off. <laughs> I don't think this run would be happening if the siphon didn't go off. Exactly. Login rejected. Right, I'm at bids one. Successfully ends the run with Caprice. That's a big deal. Yeah. I think we would have uh, pulled significantly ahead if he had won that side game. Um, the game remains pretty close. I think probably giving RP the slight advantage still pretty much on the sole merit of the Nisei counter. Um, which Ahmed has shown a lot of restraint and patience to not use so far. Yeah. He draws a Another very good card. card. Count Siphon. Yep. Man. I'm probably just going to drop the Ooh. <laughs> oh, the Cortex Lock's going to be... Uh... That's going to do three damage. Ah. Wow. All right. Left the Mimic, though. And the Fairy. And the Fairy. Now do you account or stop it? No. I mean, he's not going to, but I think he should. Yeah, I think he should, actually. I think it's time. Nope. Can't can't go to one credit. Because now your side games are shit, too. I think if he just stopped the first account segment, he could have put more ice on HQ and then been totally fine. And then, yeah, here, you see this crap. It's all agendas left in R&D. Yeah. Like, is, he, is he counting these cards? He, you can't just do this forever. Yeah. No. He's gonna keep an NAPD contract. I don't know about that either. And uh, you're pretty much forced to just take three credits and discard an Enigma. There's no other play, is there? No, I mean I, I don't think it matters. Like if he had stopped that first siphon, and yeah, like you said. Could have put another ice on HQ, and this whole the whole shape of this game would have been different. Yeah. Alternatively, just wait to score that stupid first Nisei. <laughs> if the Lotus Field was still on HQ, taxing uh, taxing for four credits a, a siphon run, there's been five siphons that go that have gone down so far, and Jaeger would be on zero credits right now if he had to, you know, go through all that. Yeah. Dean said he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I guess you guys haven't been able to see the hands, unfortunately. Um, I don't know whose hand Dean was stuck on. Oh, Dean's been switching. That's good. I think he just nodded out for a second. I think you gotta wait one more turn before you start scoring here. What is he icing? 
What? He can't afford this. Oh, man. Can he? Maybe he can. What did he put there? An Eli, it looks like. No, I guess it wasn't an Eli. I guess it was a Lotus Field. <coughs> and there's a Femme off the top. Jeez. That's a big deal. That's huge. So if you're Jaeger right now, you have that Femme. What are you doing with it? I mean... What am I doing with it? Yeah. I think this turn I'm femming the toll booth and running R and D. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm. Alternatively, you can run run the uh, res. Uh, I'm sorry. Put fem on the remote toll booth and then run the remote to go get the caprice out of the remote. Preemptively kill it before he can. Start. Yeah. Also, yeah, because it, it, it forces the res, which kills the one on R and D. Um, yeah. But he would run into Susano, which is kind of ridiculously hard to break. It's a big problem. Yeah, you don't want to be femming that. <laughs> uh, Ahmed finds a hedge fund. He's going to launch that like immediately. One of the last few non-agenda cards in this deck, right? <laughs> and I think this is going to be um, Ahmed's last turn of not scoring. Then he just has to. All right, we get out of ferry and runs the hand. Okay. Okay, so he's got a shot to win right now, right? Yep. I mean, Abed likes this if he if uh, Jaeger misses. Oh my God, I'm on the edge of my seat. Because kills his fairy. Oh my god, oh my god, one in five, one in five, one in five. You definitely can't these are kind of this one. No. Alright. It looks like it looks like um he's been playing with plus five hand size for a little bit now. Uh we forgot about the mental health clinic. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, that was that was a little while ago. Um, all right, so Ahmed sees Future Perfect, NAP, Future Perfect, and some ice, right? Um, you honestly really want to score another Nisa here, but I don't know if you can wait, right? Well, he should go for it. Did you not gain Sunday last time? No, he, he, he did. He, yeah, he's going for the score here. Okay. I think this is, this is a good call. Yeah. It's now or never. And you've been saving, you've been holding on to that Nisei counter for like dear life, so. Right. Make use of it. Uh, did he, which one did he put down? He put down the, uh, the NAPD, which is the right one. Um, so the Susano is going to do a lot of work here, right? Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to, like, fem the toll booth, inside job. Um, he does have 29, so if he fems the toll booth, inside jobs, pays one for the fem, that's fun. Sounds fun. Very few. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, why are you asking what's the prize pool at? You're the one uh, with the sponsors? I don't know. Um, it's going to have to be calculated tomorrow. 
Um, I'll do the I'll do the calculations tomorrow. So we also got to think about shipping. I got to figure out how much shipping all the math is, stuff like that. All right. So quick forms will run on archive for security testing. Quick two is going to be found in the toll booth. Click three is going to be inside job on the remote, I'm sure. <coughs> yep. Here we go. Susano, no, Mikado, whatever the fuck. And that femme doing work. Oh, no, he did an inside job. He's actually paying. Yeah. Uh, so femme, it's going to cost him 11 to break Susano. And I'm sure that's a surprise. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't have been thinking that if I was in his shoes. I mean, he has it. He can break it. Yeah. He has to but, pay 11 to do it. But I don't think you do here. I think you what you do is uh, you just bounce off of the sauna. Run R&D. Uh, and then you go to R&D. Yeah. Uh, because if he pays 11, the Nisei just kicks him out anyway. Yeah. He actually has to spend the Nisei count out on the R&D run. Wait, what? So he bounces off of Susana, right? And then he goes to R&D. You have to spend the Nisei counter there. Yeah, yeah no, sorry. I was, I was reading the chat while going. Um, but the interns in hand is going to do a lot. Um, he's going to be able to interns the Caprice back onto R&D. And, uh, yeah, that'll probably be, probably be good for it, I think. Um... So there's a lot of calculation in this game. Yeah, he bounces off. Yeah. So why did you like him installing the NAP, NAPD there over something else? Um, because if you wait for the Nisei, you're like sticking, you know, around with like agendas in your hand for longer. Um, the NAPD is better than the future perfect. You always want to score the 5-3 last against Leela because then it doesn't give her an opportunity to bounce. Okay. That makes sense. On top of it, it's also the hardest one to steal from centrals. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So eager has got 17 credits. If he goes for R&D here, um, what does that look like? What's in front of the toll booth? It's a lotus field, right? I think you can actually res that, and I think you do. Oh, he doesn't go for R&D. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, okay. I'm actually really surprised by that. Yeah. Um, so you get Lotus Field, NAPD contract, Jackson Howard. Uh, I think the right play here is to keep Jackson Howard, interns the Caprice, and then uh, play Jackson Howard or take a credit. Either one's fine. Okay. You don't want to score this NAPD here. No, because if you score it, he just bounces the R&D ice and slams through. Probably wins. Correct. And I think you're right, like, that was the best line. Yeah, he does put Jackson Howard. He shouldn't use Jackson to draw here. That would be a huge mistake. What you want to do here is interns. Just calmly interns Caprice. Whoa! Ah, oh, that's wrong. Yeah. yeah. A big misplay. Very, very bad. Oh my god, he's gonna lose this game because of that. Yeah. Lila just makes two runs on R&D, right? And then that's game like 99% of the time. Oh man. 
It's like he forgot about Lula both times. What? Sneak door beta. Oh my god. Huh. This is cool. a cool chance. Cool. So, two unexpected things in a row. Yeah. How many genders are in his hand right now? Just the future perfect. Just the future perfect. All right. But he hits it. He hits it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> All right. Time to play a side. Oh, man. Corp does not want to be playing side games right now. Nope. Oh man, he could have just slowed down and been okay. Oh my god, he's safe. One versus two. He runs sneak door again. Another one in 15 shot here. Misses. Sees Ichi 1.0. And uh, one last try. Wow. Well, now he can just slam his future perfect down into the remote. Oh, he saw yeah. it. He touched it again. <laughs> oh, oh, so bad. Holy shit, boys. So bad. I'm going to refrain from saying anything in the chat. Huh. And we thought we were gonna, you know, end short after all those fast games. This one's taking a long time. Yeah, geez. I'm not even gonna say what to bet here. I'm, <laughs> I'm randomizing this one. I'll take my two and three. Zen moment. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's an it's an intense moment to think. Like, <laughs> I don't think he's actually thinking. I think he's finding a dice. Oh my God, he's off. He's oh, off. I got it on the zero too. Oh, All right, let's see what comes off the top of R and D. If it's three agendas, uh, and it is three agendas, so I guess you bottom you bottom NAPD Nisei, and then you just go for the future perfect square here, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and I, and I think you're safe. That's that's actually great that you saw agendas because. Well, it doesn't really matter. I think he's just got it. Probably. Well, no, no, no. He's got it. He's got to steal this future perfect off of the HQ. That's his only. His only. Uh... Oh no, he's got inside job for R and D. He's gonna have to end that run, right? Inside job R and D. Yeah. How many agendas are in R and D? Uh, there's one feature. There's three agendas in R and D. One Nisei. And there's one. Of, there's there's a. Uh, there's one Nisei somewhere in R and D. Um, okay, so he has a fifty fifty, right? Because we know the bottom two cards of R and D. Because well, need to... two. There's ten cards in R and D. Or no, no, no. There's also a Jackson in play. Yeah. Oh, he. Oh, yeah. He has the future perfect still in hand. So there's one NAPD left. Um, do you end this round? I think you do. Um, probably. Uh, Ahmed's gonna take his time, make sure that there's nothing that he's missing. But yeah, I think you gotta end this round. Also, I think it's a mistake to pay two credits here. I think you just take two damage. Yeah, no, definitely. Login rejected. And the run is ended. All right. 
What's he doing now? So with NAPD and Nisei on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so you have three clicks left. What are your options? Um, okay, well, you can... You can click for a credit. You can get back to R&D. Um, and if you like your odds there before... Oh, that's... Dirty laundry, dirty laundry on the uh, on the daily business show, and then run R and D, and you have enough to steal a um, an NAPD. Um, yeah, so you, we think this is fifty fifty now. I think so. Right, because the corp has four cards in his deck, yeah. Yeah. And, and he bought him two agendas, so yeah, it's fifty fifty. Oh, man. Oh, actually, no, it's not 50 50 because he's got interface. So he'll just win, right? Well, there's a Jackson in play. Oh, so he's got to use the Jackson. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's only got four cards left in the bin. But it, it's so unlikely that he misses. I think he's going to take it. Oh, no, wait. Holy he's... shit. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to use Jackson here. But you're so unlikely to do it. You just use Jackson, shuffle in three operations, and cross your fingers, right? So, so unlikely. I mean, you're you're pretty much fucked, but... So there's one Nisei and two NAPDs left in the discard? Maybe keeping the future perfect is wrong here. I don't know. And this is probably going to be the game for Leela. And that is the game. That is the game. <sighs> yeah, so that Nisei was definitely lower impact than Nisei in account siphon. Right? Um, because he basically that Nisei cost him like eight credits or so. A lot of mistakes were made that game. It's a really difficult game to play. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, that was crazy. Yeah. That was an intense game. I met did a really good job of keeping, you know, like winning the side games after that first one that he lost giving up the Nisei. Um, but I really think he needed to Caprice RNG.